Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonathan, your host. I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Don't you're the man on the stage. Oh, yeah, dude, sticky. And we are playing Madden 21. Oh, dude, this is the 21st edition. The 21st of Madden ever created? Not really. Yeah, dude, you know, oh, it's pretty for the bucks. So, how many Maddens are there total then if we were to not take the numbers? Just for a little bit more lore. I like it. Hit, hit me with some lore. I think, dude, I think the first one came out in 88, so this would be the 33rd edition. 33 years of Madden, and they've always been with EA, right? Wait, no, wait. That would be 33. Yeah. That'd be. Mm hmm. EA's made it the whole time. Yeah, I don't know. You never looked that up the first year. All right. It seems like. <laughs> I think I've been playing them since they first came. <laughs> I think I literally have been playing this game since day one. <laughs> it's been a long time. I remember... 89. It was on Sega was the first time it ever came out. Yeah, and it was on EA then too, right? No? It was EA oh, yeah, it was there? always EA, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, dude, because uh, I remember, dude, where I really got hardcore into Madden was, uh, was Madden 95 on Super Nintendo. That was like, that's where I like... That's kind of the one I remember being like one of the best, too. Yeah, and Madden 97 for PS1 was really good. And then uh, Madden 2004 for PS2 was really good. That was the one where Vic was like unstoppable. The only one I ever played was Tecmo Super Bowl. Dude, that game was good, too. That was Nintendo. a really good game, dude. I just remember I would always be Percy Holt. And I could just On like, the Colts, dude? That was Percy Holt, and I could always just like slide in and get an automatic sack, dude. And you could just like sack the quarterback if you just like did the button combination right. Yeah, dude, that game was. We used to play hardcore battles with that game when I was like a kid. <laughs> with my friends. Oh my god, we used to like stay. You used to be able to run all the way back to the end zone and then throw it all the way 100 yards. Yeah, <laughs> that's what everybody did. Yeah, dude, it worked. It well, worked. There was like the first edition. There was only four plays, and if you picked the right play, you automatically got the sack. Yeah. Or yeah. you fumbled the ball if it was a running play. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then Super Bowl came out, and you're like, oh, my God, dude. We have, like, different, like, abilities. Oh, bring the team in, friends. No, I never played that one. What are they going to do? Are they going to drive a car? Oh, no, dude. They're oh, waving they're all windmilling, in. dude. Look at that. He's going to take off. He <laughs> almost did. He almost flew. Was that really? That was really the station? Dude. This game has bad celebrations. Why are they doing <laughs> so good, dude? The, like, somebody it. somebody programmed that. Somebody was like, oh, dude, I know what it would be a killer celebration. He's going to wave his arm and we run in a circle. last year's anime. What are you doing? Last year's anime? This, game. this is my... It's last year's anime. Uh, One Punch Man? No. Actually, valid. <laughs> valid. You still haven't watched that either. I've watched an episode. You watched an episode of One Punch Man. Mm -hmm. A single episode. Yes. The first episode. Yes. You can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. I've been watching Naruto with my friends. No, Donald Trump voice. You can't do that. China? No. <laughs> That's the only thing I know how to say in his voice, dude. <laughs> that was, I thought he was in my living room. Yeah, I mean. You know, I was thinking, dude, I was thinking, I was in the car and I was driving it. And I was thinking <laughs> at the same time. All of these things were happening. In the car, driving it and thinking. Yeah. FNS, yeah, dude, I'm talented, okay? I'm talented. I know. Okay. Thank you. Um, I was thinking if we could a interview with us, would you do it? Yeah. Would you be I able. to think twice about it. What? I wouldn't think twice, absolutely. And I wouldn't even be an a hole. I would have to do a legit interview. Okay. Yeah, because. Yeah. I, I would. Okay, we've done a few interviews. Mm. I would take anyone and do a legit interview. I am not, even even the gold miner dude, I, I yeah. tried to stay very professional and unbiased yeah. and like. It, it wasn't. wasn't it wasn't honestly until like later in that relationship where it was like some questions. I kind of took him for what he said, and that's kind of the way I feel about anybody. Well, you, you, know? went, you went into it like, I don't know if this is telling the truth. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna try to get him to. Yeah. To oh yeah. Step. I was. I was a little bit more uh, confrontational. Yeah, in that. But I, I, like it added to the to the interview. I feel like. Oh, absolutely. 
But yeah, but but like, dude, that was like a two-hour interview. Who else did we interview, Jones? Let's just we're, let's just suck our own fingers. We, uh, we right interviewed. Now. We interviewed uh, Cam Girls. We interviewed I, the Cam Girls first. Yeah, we interviewed two Cam Girls. We interviewed uh, the stunt woman PJ. She the was stunt like, woman voice actor. We the gold miner. The gold miner. We interviewed K Cutter from Ink Master. K Cutter from Ink Master. I remember that. He was like, he was like, I don't even know if I want to do this. And then he did it. And he was like, yo, this was actually pretty fun. And then everybody who we've ever interviewed is And then that Darren, is. the drummer from Goldfinger. Yeah. Because remember dude. he told us he had he gave us 15 minutes and then he gave us 45 minutes. Yes. And he was like, he was like, dude, I should come back on the show again. Yeah. Like he loved it. He was like, I can't believe I'm doing this for free. I'm just glad I did this for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. He like, yeah. It was so like, we, yeah, we do have interview episodes. That was early in yeah. the, in the well, podcast. Uh, spoiler alert! Not even spoiler. Alert. Um, I have I put together custom episodes that are just strictly the interviews. Did you? In uh, on the YouTube channel here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have uh, where it's like just like we put interview. I put all the interviews together in like oh, okay. three episodes. I think. Sweet. Yeah. One is just the gold miner. One is oh, like that's a long end. one is PJ. Darren and Kay Cutta, and the other one is I don't remember who like what else the Cam Girls or Sweet. something. So yeah, you guys can you guys can look for those if you so yeah, decide. Like, we do do a podcast. What do we do? How often? Twice a week. Twice a week. Yeah. Yeah. I, hey, look. Hey, if you ain't advertising, you ain't doing it right. Well, yeah, but like the thing is, <laughs> Just dude, I think I think what people like. I do research. Yeah. I like. I think that's what surprised Kay Cutta because I was like, "Yeah, dude, I saw you like you work with kids and you like try to do stuff. Why don't you tell me about the Kay Cutta or whatever?" And he was just like, "Oh, yeah, I'll tell you about this." You know, it's like yeah. we aren't like, "How was it?" Like, da, 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 tell me about it. Like Darren, the first thing I asked him was about Lake Effect Snow because he's from Buffalo, and he was like, you "I think that warmed him up, dude." Yeah. He was you're just that like, guy. You're that guy. I'm good at an interview in the interview setting, but like, if you just like put me in front of a person, I'm not. I'm, I'm not that talkative. Yeah, it was like the very first thing. I was like, I know you're from the Buffalo area, dude. Tell, tell everybody about Lake Effect Snow. And he just like chuckled and was like, dude, it sucks. It's like, da, 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 da. and then it was like we're buddies. Yeah. From that point on, he was just like, yeah, dude, whatever. He told us a story about it. he like went in and trashed that other band's locker yeah, room yeah, or whatever. Yeah, dude. People, I don't know. People love to talk about themselves, man. Yeah, and I love, dude. I love to ask people questions about themselves. Too. Yeah. I dude, I, I like I would love to do more interviews. We just like do it all differently. We could we could get that Skype train going again. Like you know, you know, I would like to get back in touch with Miss Melody Pang. Oh yeah, she was she uh, was fun. What did we, do? we did a we did an episode? Was she on like freaking Game of Thrones or something? No, no, she was just she had just done. <laughs> no, random. I could have swore. I remember I was like making a joke about her being on Game of Thrones or something. She did commercials. I yeah, know she, that. Yeah, like, but uh, yeah, she did. A, she did like an actual episode as a co-host, and then she came on and played Are You Urban with you a couple times. Oh, jeez. Wow. No, because she she was the only person that ever beat you. Only and then you guys had like a three. You had to you like then he played her again and you won. You had to have like a final battle and you oh, won. She yeah. was the only one that ever like beat you at Are You Urban. Oh wow, I forgot about the Are You Urban saga. Yeah, dude, that was fun too. <laughs> we had the lost episode that screwed up with the beardy five. Eh, that happens though. We've got. I feel like we've had a pretty good record. We haven't. We don't have that many lost episodes. If I, dude, I had to put in the work for those interviews, though. No, I know and you if did. I would have like, if I, like, it was a lot, like, I think I tried to set up the interview with Darren ten times, and then finally it worked. Like it was a lot of work, and K cut it too. It was like six months, dude. I kept like trying. Hey, dude, you still write? You still want to come on? You still? You know, it's like. Yo, fam, I'm working on this presidential interview right now. Call up Trump. I'm man. trying to, dude. You know me, Amber, really cool. Huh? You'll take Pence. You want to interview Mike Pence? I would. I'd interview the Scaramucci, dude. Who the heck is that? Scaramucci, dude. The guy who was like, he was in there. That was months ago. He's still somewhat relevant somewhere. Someone likes him, dude. <laughs> Steve Bannon. Oh. <laughs> He's in trouble. <laughs> Dude, I can't, it pisses me off, Jonas, because I've been using the term schadenfreude for years, and no I knew what that ish was, and now everybody's like, oh, this is a perfect example of it, schadenfreude. Dude, what is know? that? I don't know. Schadenfreude is when you see somebody else uh, get what they deserve, and you feel a feeling of happiness because they failed. Kind of. Oh, it's like karma caught up with them. Yeah. Essentially, that kind of like. It's like, oh, 
You mean to tell me that you're getting exactly what should happen to you? I feel good about your misfortune. And I hate it because, like, obviously. You don't want to wish misfortune on anybody. Yeah, but, I mean, you know, some people got to deserve it. Some people got to deserve it. Yeah, dude, that was like, the karma is a B, dude. Yeah. If you don't believe in karma, that's fine, but, like, your actions tend to catch up with you. Yeah, 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 oh, man, that's It may truth. take a long time, but if you're an a-hole to everybody all the time, eventually some bad stuff is going to happen. It's yeah. Just, it's just, it's law of averages, dude, and you're going to get it pretty good. I think that if I, if we got an interview with the president, we could get him to just admit aliens exist. You I think we could get it out of him. Oh no, because I believe it, Jonas. I listened to a podcast about Area Fifty One. Yeah, and that ish man, they like went in depth. They went like, like uh, deep into the files, talking about like the guy who found the ship and what he found and what he told the police, and then what the police told the the uh, army, and then what the army told the police to tell people. It, it was just it's nuts, man. And like the type of metal and like the police reports and stuff. Yo, something's up. Something's up. All right. Just saying. Yeah, dude. There's you... also podcasts about why 5G caused coronavirus. All right, John. It's just, fine. Just, You're just going to go ahead and just... say I'm a conspiracy theorist now <laughs> because I believe that there's life on another planet that could have visited us. No, dude, we talked about the Fermi. I believe that. That's yeah, that was another podcast. We talked about the Fermi paradox. So I'm just saying that, like, I don't know. You know, I'm sitting here I would, in front of you right now talking. I, I, no, I, I, no, dude, I, I, I would like for you to expand on it. And then Tom Delonk, Jonas, Tom Delonk. I don't know who that is. He's guy Blink 182 guy. Oh yeah, dude. who released and now they're just like admitting that these UFO videos. Oh yeah, all of he a put sudden. out that video and they're like, yeah, that's real. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, that happened. Yeah, it's real. Okay, so what is it? It's real. Yeah, we don't know, though. They have it. How are you going to release a video and not even explain? You're like, oh, it's but the, the classified. Is nobody questioned. Everyone was just like, oh, it's out there. Base Jones, ser dead ass. Seriously, that is what is happening. People are just like, oh, they said it's real. Cool. Whatever. The government said, yo, these videos of unidentified flying objects are real. And no okay. one bad I Explain this. No, we're good. They're real, though. No one asked them to explain it. That's the problem. Everybody's a I'm asking right now. What do you mean they're real? <laughs> I mean, I mean, just because so it's what an unidentified they? flying object doesn't mean it's an actual alien. They just don't know what it is. No. What, what it is is that they're admitting that the vi videos are real, but they're just like, well, we don't know. So they're not. They're admitting that the videos are real. They're, so they're not doctored videos, but they're not admitting to knowledge to what is in the video. Right. That's a Bull crap. I mean, if they don't know, they don't know, dude. <laughs> you know what? All right. So I'm going to release a video of me having sex with your wife. I don't have one. Right? Just, just hypotheticals, okay? And then I'm just not going to admit that 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 that's a penis. Just not going to do it. That's so you're gonna be, I'm going to be like, you're gonna be like, show me the video. And I'm going to be like, oh, dude. Yeah, that's a real video. So explain this. Nah. Nothing to explain. No, there's nothing. Nothing happened. We don't know. The answer is we don't know. Oh yeah, we don't. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> it's crazy. You're not even admitting that yeah, like, intercourse like, like happened. You having sex with a woman is different than like <laughs> something <laughs> being floating in the air. They okay, yeah, okay. It, it was a long shot. All right, I'm sorry. I, was I, I went for the like, shock factor, and I apologize. Yeah, in fact, that. I was out of line because <laughs> I would never. You yeah. have sex with somebody that you were seeing and or married to. Yeah. All right. So it was. I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize. Fact, you're friends with my ex wife. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. All right. So fine. Forget it, Joe. It's fine. So I release a, a a a video of me have no see having sex with a tree. Boom. I'm banging this tree, Jonas. But you were there involved in the act of something floating in the air. Like, you can literally say, I don't know what that is. I could I could just say it's a tree-looking woman. Is this a woman that looks You're like a tree? Apples and oranges, okay, dude. fine. It's at, fine. I'm going to take my, my, my junk out of the picture all together. You should, yes. I probably should. All right? <laughs> fine. I release a video of two cats fighting. Like... Boxing gloves. 
And then I just like, you know, no, I don't know what happened. Well, who trained the cats? I don't know. Why are the cats fighting? Who, who's who's sponsoring this fight? I don't know. I'm sorry, Jonas. It's it's it's, 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 it's gonna be all right though. You're gonna win this game. I got faith. In overtime you. again, dude. It's not gonna go in overtime it, because you're gonna win. I, I can't win when it's all you, know, you gotta do out, is dude. win it right here. They gotta go 96 yards. Well, you can do that. Why was he running around it? Because <laughs> it failed. The game's good. Anyway, so, so back, yeah. cats and boxing gloves. Yeah, cats fight with boxing gloves, and then I'm like, okay, so why are the cats fighting? You don't know. Why? How did? Who taught the cats to wear boxing gloves? Eh, I don't know. Obviously, you're telling me the video is real. You took the video. I just want to know where the aliens are, Jonas. Why don't yeah, you tell us? I feel you. Um, they're in my pocket. No, I don't. I'm going to get this presidential interview down, okay. and we're going to find Dude, out about you, aliens. I mean, I've told you from the start, you get anyone okay to an interview, I'm, I'll interview them. I'll do research. I'll come up with like some good questions. Yeah, I just, you know, I don't know. We definitely have to do a Zoom interview because I don't see, like, any important government officials just coming oh, to Oh, yeah. Well, no, we ain't getting a government official. <laughs> we ain't important. I don't know. I feel like we're I feel like we're important, Jonas. You don't think you're important enough yeah, I mean, to talk to? We're I mean, salt I, of the earth, Jonas. I think that I do a dang good interview. And uh, exactly, we're an interracial couple. One boom. <laughs> oh, we're gonna win again, dude! You were right. I imagine Bring that. the team in. Imagine only ima because I get. Imagine oh, I was right. They're like Jonas. What? I don't know riding horses. It's obviously pony play. Oh, <laughs> your favorite pastime. Yeah, dude, pony play. Your favorite bedroom pastime. Yep. You just wait, Jonas, until when I get Mike Pence in here, dude. And you we... get Pence, dude. I'll talk to him. About Hell stuff. yeah, dude. I want to talk. That's all I want to do. All right. If man. anybody out there knows uh, how the, to get old Mike Pence, how to get Mike Pence or the president, we'd like to talk to them. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, uh, we he does Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I do Twitch every single day at ten o'clock. That's TNT D I N O M I J T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch TV. Yeah. For Jonas. Yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh,